We do applied research, and so our main goal is to do research that answers high priority questions for local fishing communities. So we're really looking to do collaborative research where we engage local community members in determining the questions that they have. And we are out here on our last dive day as part of the collaborative scallop research project we do with fishermen from Tenet's Harbor, Friendship, and South Thomaston monitoring a closed area on the Muscle Ridges, which is right behind me over here. The fishermen came to a nonprofit organization in Rockland and asked to close the area and monitor and to see what happens to the scallop population if they don't fish in that area for a three year period. The opportunity to work with fishermen who care about the resource that they're harvesting and are really invested in conserving it for future generations. And then, you know, working with them to do that is just such a great opportunity and I feel really fortunate to have that opportunity and for Hurricane Island to support this kind of work. We're doing dive surveys and that's what we're here today doing. Um, and we also do drop camera surveys. Both of those are to assess the adult population. And then we also put out spat bags um, to collect larval scallops. So we're sorting through the last spat bag of the summer. And the reason that we're doing this is sort of part of a larger scallop research project that we're doing. And the point is to see which areas of the bay are getting more larval recruitment of scallops. So each of these bags were put out in a different location around Penobscot Bay and near the closure area that we're monitoring to see um, where there might be more future populations of scallops and if that's an important area to protect. We're obviously surrounded by communities highly dependent on marine resources for their livelihood. So in that sense, I think our marine resource research is really relevant um, and kind of looking, and the aquaculture as well. Um, so thinking about how our working waterfronts might change in the future with the changing Gulf of Maine and how do we sort of create sustainable communities that can withstand those changes and be resilient against those changes. Here on Hurricane, we're hoping that we can do research that informs how the scallop industry develops. This year, um, with our first crop, so to speak, we're putting out two bottom cages with juvenile scallops, and we're hoping to measure individual growth rates so that we can get an idea of how quickly scallops reach harvestable size. Um, and then we're also hoping to get a sense of stocking density. The Scallop Project is one of the initiatives that we really engage students in here on Hurricane. So the idea of doing the applied research is teaching people to do science that initiates action. And so the students help us with collecting data by processing the spat bags, and they also help us process adult scallop shells and measure growth rates. And so they get hands-on experience collecting data for a real project that has implications for how we manage the scallop fishery at the state level. And aquaculture really provides a great entry point for students, and we're in our second year of students growing seed lines in their classroom in early fall and then coming to Hurricane to deploy that seed line to grow over the winter. Northport Middle School just put out their seed line this past week, um, so we'll see how that goes. And the hope is by scientists and middle and high school students sitting together at a dinner table is that there's that real opportunity for information exchange and for students to be able to learn what it means to have a career in field science um, and to really see and kind of break down any barriers or images that are intimidating about science um, by showing you know, the real people behind the science.